My man, Chef Jerry, is always doing this stuff late at night, so if I sound like I'm not as enthusiastic because I'm trying to be quiet for the rest of the house, that's the reason. Mariners made a trade, a big one. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Touching Bases Podcast. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, joining the family, give it a like at the end of the video if I've earned it, and then leave a comment below. How do you guys feel about this trade? Looks like the Mariners finally did something as everybody was counting them out, looking at the last three games being a minor league team. They have put together, well, not much more, let's be honest. They have acquired one big name who was struggling most of the season, but in the last 30 days has really turned a corner. I'm just hoping that T-Mobile Park won't slow him back down. Randy Rosarena is coming to Seattle. Huge deal. Now, I do have some concerns on this trade. Let's let's keep this in mind. I'm going to pull everything up here. So, luckily, <laughs> Randy Rosarena is only $8.1 million contract this year. He has Arbor... Arbor arbitration through 2025 2026 and then he is a free agent in 2027 so we have some club control which is awesome granted he's probably going to ask for more money later on if he does perform in seattle as we would expect him to the players that are going over there are uh, aiden smith who i believe is our 21 yes he ranked 21 in the mariners organization his eta for the for the mlb is 2028 so he has some time but he is a really good prospect that everybody was looking at his hitting and power is a little bit low but his fielding ability he's super fast now down in single a Aiden Smith is hitting a 284 with an OBP of 402 and slugging 470 he's a WRC plus of 136 this is in single a so understand that now his walk rate is 14.5 percent and his K rate is 24.3 percent so I'm just saying he has nine home runs out of 358 plate appearances so he can hit the ball over the fence and he does get on base pretty often his strikeout rate is lower than most of the MLB's like I guess standard the Rays are definitely getting a good prospect the other one very excellent I am a little bit obsessed with this because I really didn't want to see this guy go so so Brody Hopkins he's down in single a out of 18 starts he's throwing a 2.9 ERA he's got 95 strikeouts and his whip is a one 1.22 which is i mean a little bit high but honestly that's pretty average if you ask me and he's got a pretty good sample size so i can see him going up through the system he's only 22 years old he's six foot four he was a six round pick and overall 187th in the draft of 2023 so this last year i am pumped man i and now look i know this is not going to fix the mariners but the fact that we have something on the 25th of july and we still have about six days left to make some moves i'm hoping that jerry is cooking for a a little bit more to try to make that happen you know it would also really help is if ty france gets picked up by another team to take over that contract that's 6.775 million dollars hey shout out to the couch gm for for giving me some info on that contract i had some questions on that so shout out to you brother i appreciate your help if that's able to clear that will open up six million dollars for them to go out and forward a much more expensive player with a lot more trading options also a player that is named to be last so someone's going to be named later on that's what i worry about about. Are they going to be giving away Cole Young? Are we giving up Harry Ford? Are we giving up Logan Evans? Like, who are we giving up at a later date? That is the biggest concern here because that's going to take away a trading trip in the next couple days for somebody else. Now, I knew something was going to happen just because they dumped off quite a few guys that had a decent amount of money behind them near a million dollars AAV they were making moves for something I wasn't expecting it to be Randy Rosarino which is awesome much cheaper than Robert Jr way hotter than Robert Jr at like right now and he's better defensively so we're not looking at any injury risk there I just I just hope that now Julio can come back and play in the outfield with Randy I mean it feels like a dream right now because I was not expecting them to do anything this offseason or maybe pick up players nobody was talking about on the lower side so i mean this is this is cool granted i wish isak paredes was included in this or mod rosario even though he would have been a rental it would have been much more ideal to have someone else in this package and maybe we gave a little bit more the fact that it's finalized the fact that it happened that we got randy rose Reina, and hopefully god hopefully he continues where he left off overall 213 batting average it sadly matches the rest of the team right now so maybe he is going 
going to bat the near 300 that he's been batting the last month in Seattle. So um, I have no idea when his first game is going to be. I'm going to assume it's going to be tomorrow when they get back on the field. So look forward to that. Randy's coming to Seattle. So a quick little video to put it out there just so you guys can get an update on. Pretty crazy. I can tell you right now, Dodgers fans, I know you're upset. You guys wanted him to go there. I actually bid a mock trade that involved the Dodgers going in on Randy Rosarena. And then 20 minutes later, um, I had to take it down because Seattle already got him. So comment below what you guys think. If you're excited, if you're a Mariners fan, are you really mad that if you're a Dodgers fan and who is next to go after if, if it's not Randy Rosarena for the LA Dodgers? And if you're a Rays fan, how do you feel? Some people are saying they got fleeced, but Aiden Smith in a couple years, he he's going to be someone we might even regret giving up. I know for a fact Brody Hopkins is going to be an amazing ace pitcher by the time he hits the MLB. I know it's further on down the road, but there needed to be some moves, especially going into next year. Subscribe if you haven't joined this family, and uh, hopefully the short video got to you unscripted. Just my reactions. I, it's exciting to hear. Thanks for joining me tonight. I'll see you all later.